जय हिंद ऑल दिस इज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर गगनदीप सिंह फ्रॉम अजय कुमार गर्ग इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज दिस इज ए लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन सेटेलाइट कम्युनिकेशन एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग द नेक्स्ट कॉम्प्लेक्स टॉपिक विच आर द कॉन्फिग्रेशन इन द सेटेलाइट कम्युनिकेशन सो देर आर मेनली टू कॉन्फिग्रेशन इन द सेटेलाइट कम्युनिकेशन फर्स्ट वन इज द स्टार टॉपोलॉजी एंड सेकेंड वन इज द मेस्ट नेटवर्क मेक्स टॉपोलॉजी a uh, star topology can be seen as a central node uh, as a uh, satellite is the central node and all other nodes are connected with that uh, central node for example uh, the local telephone network uh, is uh, a, a kind of uh, star topology network here a uh, satellite can be act as a single point of failure for uh, the whole whole communication network If the satellite goes down, the whole satellite, whole communication network will go down. Redundancy is provided at the central point so that if uh, the failure at the that point uh, occurs, we need to have a backup as the redundancy for that uh, uh, failure. So generally, there is a redundancy is provided at the network. Whereas the mesh network is a, a network where all the nodes are connected with each other. so there may be satellite which are communicating with a number of other uh, ground stations and uh, ground stations are also communicating with each other for example in the in the case of gps uh, the mesh network uh, topology is used so it encourages uh, for the high capacity of the system with the, uh, with some security purposes complete connectivity is built with the redundancy so uh, whatever data is sent to the one user that use that uh, data is again sent to the uh, from the other earth station also so as the number of links are more so the the approach this approach is more uh, is uh, more costly the hub must control the communication setup tear down process but need not to involve that carrying traffic traffics for example again in the communication uh, sorry in the gps the networks are generally uh, transmitting one information that are received from the uh, satellite to the uh, to the user rather than taking any participation in any type of the uh, communication this is an example of the uh, star network star shaped network where this satellite is communicating with all the type all the other Terrestrial network or all the other users. So this is a single point, single point which is communicating with all other networks. So it may be receiving one, uh, uh, receiving signal from the one of the user, and trans and distributing it to the other user to create a star network. Other network is mesh network where uh, a satellite, let's suppose a satellite is communicating with. other earth stations and earth stations are also communicating with the all other earth stations so this is a star topology and this is a mesh uh, network topology for the uh, satellite communication so if we go with the components of the satellite communi uh, uh, communication satellite generally there are uh, uh, two segments every satellite which involves the transmission of the information that uh, uh, transmit the information which is originated at ground station and that ground station is sending information to the satellite which is known as the uplink and then after processing the information or uh, without uh, processing the transmission uh, of the signal the signal is retransmitted back to the user or other earth stations which is known as the downlink so uh, if we uh, if we go through this one if we look into this one the we satellite uh, must have some uh, something for all uplink and communications first thing it must receive and transmit the signal so for that one it need antennas so it needs some receiving antenna as well as the some receiver which can receive the signal similarly it must have transmitter and transmitting antenna a uh, transmitting antenna conti contains the aperture antenna or the array antenna or the wire antennas and so on transmitter uh, also contains the sum of the blocks for the trans uh, for the transmission of the signals then some methods for connecting uplink and the downlink for the retransmission this methods can be uh, 
द मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग द टी डी एम ए और एफ डी एम ए एज वेल एज द टाइप ऑफ द लिंक्स डेट आर देयर फॉर फॉर एग्जाम्पल एज वी हैव डिस्कस द लिंक टाइप कैन बी ए स्टार नेटवर्क और ए मेस नेटवर्क द प्राइम इलेक्ट्रिकल पावर इज ऑल्सो रिक्वायर्ड टू रन ऑल ऑल द कॉम्पोनेंट्स इन द ट्रांसमीटर एज वेल एज द रिसीवर सो बेसिकली दीज थ्री थिंग ट्रांसमीटर रिसीवर एंड द पावर इलेक्ट्रिकल पावर इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द ट्रांसमिशन ऑफ द सिग्नल फ्राम द Uh, a station to the signal so if we say uh, we can broadly classify the total communication into two segments one is the space segment and other is the ground segment the space segment is called the satellite and uh, ground station is known as the earth 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 station so basically satellite is a space space uh, segment uh, that includes the mean of uh, uh, in earth means on earth necessary for the launching and the station keeping it keeps the two way as the case of the long distance call uh, we can call we can call uh, we can hear as well as we can speak on the call so this is a two way ground station uplink is, is downlinked over the wide range in the tv broadcast this is the second uh, thing ground station it is generally uh, a station which transmits the uh, or receive the transmission and reception of the signal that are transmitted from the uh, antenna it generally consist of transmitters as well as the antennas so if we uh, more look into this one there is we can broadly classify into two parts one is the platform and second is the payload platform is generally required to control and uh, monitor the payload and payload is the basic heart of the uh, satellite which transmits receives as well as the process the information that all uh, ground station is using so the platform consist of a structure of a satellite where we, uh, the housing is there uh, where all the all the elements are placed then there is a power propulsion the jets for the altitude and orbit control system as well as the for the uh, station keeping all these uh, propulsion system will be there then stabilizer and the altitude control system will be there then thermal control the all the type of the sensors and the thermostats will be there environmental control telemetry tracking and command as well as monitoring system will be there this all consist of a platform that is required for the control on the satellite then second part is the payload which generally uh, communicates with the earth station so there m- there is a need of one or more antennas these antenna may communicate for the communication signal as well as for the control signals then there is we need reco- uh, that payload includes receivers transmitters and some information processing this information processing may or may not be there but however the processing of uplink to downlink conversion will be there then redundancy may or may not be there to, uh, to remove the all uh, uh, all errors free transmission the transmitter uh, another thing is the ground station which includes the transmitter receiver as well as the antennas Uh, on a broad base so the transmitter is the amount of the amount of the power which satellite needs to send depends upon the whether uh, whether it is a low earth station orbit or a geosynchronous orbit in geosynchronous orbit the altitude is high, very much high approximately uh, more than 20000 kil- miles Uh, while the low earth orbit is only few of the hundreds of the kilometers so if it is a it is a low leo satellite we need to transmit a very low power however to transmit a signal to the higher uh, distance higher distance greater distance approximately 20000 miles then it it will be a uh, we need a more power to tackle with the all uh, path losses then antenna the antenna uh, is also different for the leo and uh, leo 
earth stations and the geosynchronous stations. Uh, this is due to the power handling capacity of the different antennas. The easier way to make antenna is the larger. Larger the aperture, larger the signal gathering capacity will be for the antenna. Next part is the power generation. Generally, uh, the power generated all uh, the satellite generate power uh, by itself uh, using the solar cell. The power is usually generated by the solar panels that is covered with solar cells. So, as much as sun light is available to the satellite, that much electricity that satellite can produce. So, as we know, there are two types of uh, satellite. One is spinner and other is a three axis uh, satellite. The spinner satellite is has a, has a cylindrical shape. So, if this shape, uh, the sun that can strike on the surface is only one third of the total surface. At maximum, it can go with the half of the surface. So, half surface will get the sunshine. However, the half half of the satellite uh, no, solar cells will be out, there will be no set, uh, no uh, power generating due to, uh, uh, due to the no sun available to the other satellites. So, uh, with this one only uh, half of the satellite is generating power. Second type is the three axis stabilized circuit satellite where the wings are carrying solar cells. So, these are the wings which are carrying solar cell for the power and this is the main payload as well as the uh, frame of the structure, frame of the satellite. So, this here the wings can carry, uh, can be rotated toward the satellite, uh, toward the sun so that all the power that can be received uh, by the, the, by the wings will be gathered and all the power that all the uh, power solar cells on the uh, wings will be generating the power. So, here the efficiency of the solar cell uh, even though it that is approximately 2 percent uh, to 15 percent uh, nowadays for the whole, whole solar cell, but as this is going uh, 100 percent of the lifetime, its lifetime toward approximately 90 percent of its lifetime toward the sun, whereas this gets only small portion and when it rotates the, to for, the, for the generation of gyroscopic uh, forces, when this three, uh, spinner will rotate, the different satellite, different uh, uh, solar cells will come into contact with sun, so sunlight. So, that is not 100 percent of the lifetime of the solar cell that they are striking with the sun. That means, uh, they are working for the some part of their whole uh, journey in the life, whole, whole lifetime of the satellite. So, as, as a result, the satellite, this, uh, this three axis stabilized satellite, the solar cells may be, there will be more wear and tear as well as the, uh, they are working for a uh, same duration, but uh, for the less lifetime. Whereas for the spinner satellite, they can work on the more lifetime. Another uh, another possibility is when uh, when the earth station, when the satellite is behind the earth station, uh, sorry, earth. The, at that time, it is in the shadow of the earth. So, if this is earth, there will be no direct sunlight from the sun to the satellite. In this case, uh, we need some backup. Backup because solar cells are not receiving enough uh, light to generate solar uh, electrical power. So, at that time, when there is no sunlight, the satellite requires batteries which is generally on board for the supply supply requirement power requirements uh, necessary for the all uh, type of the communication and all system work works. So, these batteries are generally lithium ion batteries. Uh, these batteries uh, 
आर इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड यूज वैन देर इज सन सम पीरियड ऑफ एक्लिप्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉर द वी हैव डिस्कस दैट फॉर ए जियो स्टेशनरी सेटेलाइट वैन अ स्टेशन वैन सेटेलाइट इज बिहाइंड द अर्थ देन देर कैन बी इक्लिप्स ऑफ एटी टू डेज फॉर एट द इक्नॉक्स दिज एटी टू डेज वी नीड टू हैव पावर्स दैट इज जनरली रिसीव फ्रॉम द बैटरीज एंड दिस बैटरीज विल बी जनरेटिंग इनफ पावर टू टैकल ऑल द पावर रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर द एटी टू डेज ऑफ द इक्लिप्स Another power saving uh, mode is uh, turned on when satellite is uh, uh, in the eclipse so that the the satellite can be again reused for with the all uh, power requirements uh, the the battery needs to be heavier to to work uh, to make the satellite work so some of the power some of the working of the satellite is uh, Uh, kept at hold and uh, the rest of the uh, satellite working is done on the uh, only this batteries so if we go with the satellite components the components in the satellite mainly satellite is working as a uh, repeater so this repeater will first of all have an antenna then a low noise amplifier then a down converter using the frequency mixer then demodulator this after demodulator there will be decoder that will give some output this output uh, output information will be encoded then demodulated similar to the demodulation at the uh, earth station and then it is giving the down convert up converted and then high power amplifier then transmitter to for the satellite so if you can see that uh, there is complementary action taken place in or the reverse action take place that is at the satellite for example low noise amplifier high power amplifier uh, then we have down conversion that is complementary of the up conversion then we have down, uh, demodulator which is complementary of the demodulator then decoder which is a complementary of the encoder so a uh, basic satellite system consists of a transponder and the uh, cross links or the links between the earth station and the satellite transponder is a uh, relay uh, which uh, give the uplink carrier as a downlink as refer to relay satellite or the repeater satellite the satellite transmits the downlink by responding to the uplink and the cross link is the communication between two earth stations not visible to the uh, same satellite then by spacing multiple satellites in the proper orbit around the earth worldwide communication between the earth stations in the different hemisphere can be taken place for example for the again geo stationary satellites there may be a num there are uh, there is a one satellite which is communicating for the uh, a uh, one hemisphere and three satellite can cover the whole uh, whole uh, us to uh, communicate so multiple space satellites can be uh, are put for example three in our geostationary case for the worldwide communication then we need a, then ground relay this involves the earth station near earth user for example uh the aircraft space sh ships and the satellites and a station communication to the another station or to the user by transmitting to a relay which relays the modulated carrier to the user so if we get, say there are these are the uh, different links between the uh, a stations and the set first one is the a this is a station a station to the satellite and then again a station then a station is co communicating with this one satellite and one satellite is communicating with the second satellite and that satellite is communicating with the uh, a station so this is a ground gr cross link and then ground uh, station 
then ground user relay where this is the earth station which is communicating with the earth uh, sorry satellite and then that is communicating with the user so this is co communicating with the user so earth station is communicating with uh, satellite and then it is communicating with the user so these are the three type of the communication between the satellites then satellite as a repeater which uh, satellite repeater is an electronic assembly which uh, generally follows the functions of the amplification as well as the frequency gains so amplification of the signal where the input power uh, is very low approximately minus uh, 10 db watt that output power is converted into 10 db per watt no, 10 db watt the frequency gain which avoid the interference between the pow powerful transmitter signal and the weak receiver in uh, incoming signal the communication repeater first one is a transpa uh, transparent repeater which just uh, uh, which just receives a signal relays it back to the uh, downlink the transparent receiver in which the uplink signal is translated into the frequency but otherwise unchanged in its form so it is just converting if we are using 6 by 4 gigahertz so it is uh, the transparent uh, responder will convert 6 to 4 gigahertz only it will not process anything in the signal but otherwise unchanged in its form of the signal the transparent repeater which is widely used on all type of the communication air spacecrafts is relatively simple to design and used as well as suited to the many of the system applications because we do not want satellite to be heavier so a uh, transparent uh, system uh, transmitter and repeater satellite will be will be a lighter one which will just uh, which will just carrying some of the uh, signal uh, mixes second is the processing repeater which does not only convert uplink to the downlink but also uh, give the processing so the repeat processing repeater are those in which the uplink signals are changed in the form by demodulation or modulation then correlation or by some other complex form of the complex of the processes for example encoding then processing repeaters are used to provide enhance the performance characteristics such as increasing immunity to the interference of the signal increasing communication capacity so when we have the processing of the signal we can even though uh, the weight of the signal weight of the satellite will be increased but we can incorporate more uh, more characteristics to the uh, more properties to the, our uh, information uh, information sharing for example encoding will uh, make it more secure when we uh, apply processing uh, uh, when we pr apply uh, encoding at the processing repeaters there will be more the, the satellite will be communication will be more secure then uh, transparent repeaters as we have discussed there will be front end then frequency translation and the power amplifier then it will be transmitted back for example it is converted back to 6 to uh, 4 gigahertz and whatever the signal is transmitted the same signal is transmitted back downlink whereas for the uh, processing transponder there will be a front end which is same as the same as the transparent or uh, bent pipe the, uh, then it is demodulated then this will be a processing for example encryption or it is regeneration all the signal can, processing can be done here then there will be demodulation and a, after power amplifier it will be transmitted back to the uh, station so regenerative repeaters used in the communication heading the digital signals the uplink signals are demodulated once and then Digital signal is regenerated to uh, to overcome all the type of the error free communication. Then modulate a downlink carrier. The advantage is that improvement of the overall error rate because it is repeating the sig uh, the signal, so it can be easily 
uh, overcome all the type of the errors then when we have uh, more uh, when we have error free uh, communication then it will be there will be ease of the amplification of the baseband signals so up conversion uh, uh, is the translation of the intermediate frequency to the rf frequency whereas downlink conversion is the translation of frequency to the intermediate frequency for this one both of the cases we need a product modulator and a pass band pass filter when we have some if signal and we multiply it with some signal that will give up conversion which is cos omega t minus of the uh, uh, minus of theta some phi in, into the cos of omega t if this is omega t omega naught t this is omega t then it will give cos of omega t into cos of omega t so this will give a multiplication so there will be plus term and there is a minus term so bandpass filter we can extract some of the information which is up converted then again if we take a bandpass filter and mix it with the, our uh, omega t omega uh, signal then the both multiplication will give the basic term which is omega naught there will be some plus term minus term as well as the omega t terms so we can extract the omega naught term from there so there will be down conversion then low noise amplifier is the imp another important uh, block in the in the communication system uh, important element low noise amplifier is a uh, non linear device which has power gain characteristic are non linear the two parameter which describe the non linearity is the 1 db compression point and third order intercept point then noise figure is important because low noise amplifier is a special type of the amplifier used in the communication system to amplify very weak signal captured by the antenna ln is often located very close to the antenna so that first of all the sig uh, without having the noise in of the amplifier the signal can be amplified from the antenna it is a key component which is placed at the front end of the key receiver the noise figure generally is given as the signal to noise ratio at the input minus signal to noise ratio at the output in db then other uh, other important uh, block is high power amplifier this element is uh, uh, has the characteristic that it consists of the twt amplifiers the maximum it has maximum power efficiency it would be desirable to work with the peak of the saturation curve but the linearity is necessary to operate at the lower power lower point this uh this happens when only single input carrier is involved there and this saturation causes no carrier distortion but also limitations of to its output power when twt amplifier input corresponds to corresponding to the multiple carriers however as in the ftma format this non linearity of the of the saturation uh, saturation effect causes the inter uh, modulation products so these inter modulation products also known as the beads form product additive frequency component at the non linear output uh, that can interfere with the with the desired carrier so this is a high power uh, input a uh, high power amplifier where we uh, this is the the maximum power that we can receive however we have this much output back off and we operate somewhere here rather than getting the maximum power so this is the input back off from the uh, this is the input back off from where we are operating we are operating somewhere here but the maximum power can be received here so this is the input back off and output back off is from here to here this back off is taken at the high power amplifier so this is all about the uh, satellite communication block diagrams and the satellite communication links 
दिस इज द इन लाइन विद द कम्युनिकेशन विच इज डिस्कस्ड इन द सेकेंड यूनिट थैंक यू